So what's the latest on uh, Ryan Mason specifically and Ericsson? Yes, um, I think <coughs> Ryan is, is out. You know why. Um, he's still out, uh, Christian too. Uh, did Mason train this morning? No. No with the group. Okay. Uh, and everyone else is fit at the moment? Everyone else is okay? Mace? Is uh, not yeah, yes, well, it's Musa Dembele, he's out, still out, and after um, all fit, yes. Uh, we touched on it with Hugo, but what was your reaction to the Luke Shaw challenge last night? He's a player you, you obviously know very well and worked closely with at Southampton. Yes, I, um, I feel very sorry for him. It was a big impact for me because I arrived at home uh, and was the moment that uh, happened. Happened and I was sick after the this action. Um, you know, uh, my relation with him always was close and um, difficult. I spoke with him this morning. Uh, much better uh, today, but uh, uh, always is difficult when you got this type of uh, injury and. No, only give my support and wish uh, a speedy recovery. Um, but now it's only to thinking into recovery and and to try to to the as as soon as possible start to to recovery uh, after his his injury. How was it this morning when you played? Well, you know, always is it's difficult because uh, was crying and no, he was crying and. And it's normal. Uh, you can understand after the, the big injury that was yesterday, not only for the pain, for all that uh, is around this action and and the situation. And yes, always is difficult moment for for uh, for him and for the player. Do you think his manager was right to be angry at the the tackle? What did you make of it? Ah, it's difficult because uh, never the intention was the Hector Moreno to to do the, to make this, but uh, this is his football. Uh, always his danger, and you know the sometimes happen this type of action. And unlucky, unlucky for for Luke. You spoke about Eric Lamella in the last couple of days. You said that perhaps if now after two years here is probably time for him to deliver. Could you expand on that? What exactly do you mean? Do you mean that he's underperformed so far? Well, I think it's important season for him, for another player too. But for him, it's important to start to show his uh, real value, and, and maybe tomorrow have the opportunity to start to show. Do you think he ever will fulfil that potential here? As you say, it's been two years. Why do you think it hasn't worked? In the last two seasons? But you know, always it's difficult for the player, young player, a right to Tottenham. Uh, got injury, a big injury in his back. Difficult to play. Second season wasn't easy, and you know, um, always it's not easy when you arrive at a new club and and, and, and happen that was happening with him. But um, we have full full confidence, and and only he need uh, to feel confidence and good season for for start to show his real value. What are you expecting from your opponents? Yes, Karabakh is a good team. Um, they play um, the last, uh, the last uh, two or three weeks against Celtic and play very well. Um, have a, a very good team. And play at, uh, it's a team that play very well, try to build from back and play along the grass and very dynamic uh, team. I think it's... Um, we need to show respect for for them because it's um, it's not easy game. How important is this competition for you this season? Paul there just mentioned a few minutes ago to Hugo that it has impacted yes. uh, negatively on your Premier League form in, in recent seasons. I think it's always important. Every competition that we play, Tottenham play, is important and to go as far possible. Um, and I think it's important important for for the squad. Uh, to, to try to give the possibility to play the whole squad, and I think it's the competition is it's, it's a good competition for us. Okay. So any more broadcast <coughs> questions?
Richard, we've, uh, there's a lot of young players uh, that, you, that you've kept and haven't loaned out so far who we haven't seen yet. Um, are they likely to get a chance in this competition? Yeah, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, uh, yes, it's a mix, maybe tomorrow. In between the players that play on the Premier League and, and the, the players that uh, don't play uh, yet. You, you said last season that you, towards the other end of last season, you might look at prioritising the Premier League this season. Is that still something mm -hmm. you plan to do? Is, is that why you kept so many young players around the group? No, I think that the, we have ahead uh, in two weeks, in two weeks and a half, uh, six games, and it's important to, to share the minutes and and to put the best team for uh, every every game. Yep. Uh, last season, obviously, it was Harry Kane sort of burst onto the scene in this competition. He's yet to score for Tottenham this season. Are you going to give him the chance to maybe use this as a springboard this time around? Um, yes, maybe, yes. I think it's important. And for Harry, it's important uh, to keep uh, calm and, and working hard. I'm, I'm sure that I'll right, uh, start to score again. I think it's a good competition because uh, you can give the, uh, the alternative at different player and you can use your your squad. And but in the same way, I think it's important every competition that we play. And how many changes do you envisage each time to make in between the Europa League and the Premier League? Are we going to see very different teams in both of them? Mm, yes, maybe some some changes and yes. Yes, maybe. Plenty, or do you reckon you know you'll try and keep the nucleus together for, for both competitions? Yes, you know Mason is out. He can repeat, cannot repeat, uh, and and maybe some change more. Lovely. Can we get last questions over there, please? Um, it feels like the team have taken a while to hit their stride. You got your first win last weekend. What do you think? Did you change anything? Mentally, do you think, going forward, what do you, what do you expect from your team going Yes, I think what's important, first victory, which is important because in the last few games we, you play well, but uh, you don't get the victory and always it's, it's difficult to keep working and, and to have the same mentality. I think it was very important, different, different atmosphere on the training ground after our victory. And I think always it's, 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 it's important uh, to take a positive result for moving on the, the team. Hi guys, it's me Barnaby with Craig, Mitch and this is episode one of this week's Spurber. 